Hi guys and welcome to my latest video. Uh, it's just another drive with me on autopilot video. I have driven this road before coming the other way but not this way down so uh, it'll be a new experience and then I might do some repeat tests of this stretch of road just to say things improve as we go through various updates uh, on the um, on the autopilot system and through the Tesla as well. So thanks very much for tuning in if you haven't already please do subscribe and like the video that would really help and uh, let's let's set off shall we i'm going to indicate on the screen whenever i've got autopilot on there'll be a blue border as i engage autopilot which i just have um, it's set to 60 i'm going to take that down to about 55 uh, because I think it's a bit more of a comfortable speed for this particular road. What that does, that means now that even if, because I've manually reduced it down, even if we go into a 50 now, it'll take it down to 50 maximum, but if we then went into a 60, it would only take it back up to the 54 that I've indicated as my preferred speed. Hope that makes sense. You might see some examples as we go through the drive. It's not brilliant weather here, it's a little bit drizzly, the sun keeps popping in and out, but uh, not ideal driving weather. But the autopilot, certainly on the journey coming this way, um, the link to that video you'll see above, works really well, uh, pretty flawless really. I'm going to take that up now to just to 55. So. Because it's a road that I've not been on before, you know, I'm going to keep my hand pretty much, I usually keep my hand around the steering wheel anyway, um, but I'm definitely going to keep it close and keep be aware, you know, that I might need to take over at any point. I've got a lorry behind us, but uh, he seems to be quite happy with the speed that I'm doing. And it's quite a twisty, twisty road, this. but the car's handling it really well. For those of you who might be new to autopilot, I'll explain briefly what it is. It is the Tesla's auto, sort of autonomous driving, um, and you know, right now it doesn't offer full autonomous driving, but it does on, on roads like this, nice A roads, but also on motorways and dual carriageways, I use it nearly all the time. And it does make a much more relaxing drive that way. Um, but if you look at the screen, you'll see three sort of symbols along the top there, which are important for autopilot. Uh, well, the first one tells you what the legal road limit is here, and that's 60. And in a Tesla, that's defined by GPS data, but also uh, the car's cameras read the signs. So we'll see an example of that, I'm sure, in a moment, where you'll see the road signs come up on the visualization here, and then you'll see the car adjust the legal limit and also the maximum limit as well um, when it sees those signs. The next symbol over, the blue symbol, is the symbol that says we've got autopilot engaged and you can also tell that, I'm going to take it up to 60 here now, and you can also tell that by the two blue lines as well. The roads open up a bit now, so 60 is okay along here. which is about six miles then from our destination. There is definitely a reduced speed limit here. We've got a dickhead here overtaken. This road's notorious for mental people. What's the point in overtaking on a road like this? I don't know. Okay, we're coming to a 50 mile an hour limit and you should see the signs there on the screen and the car immediately starts to slow down. I've not done any of that braking and it's going to take us down to 50 now, which is the maximum. As 
there's another sign just coming up, which I hope it will, yeah, it picks up that one as well. And it's dealing with these road bends and twists really well. No issues at all so far. I think we actually go through a 40 speed limit now in a second because it's a, I think there's a school or something up here. Yeah, here it comes. So you should be able to see the 40 mile an hour sign come up in a second. There it is. Maximum reduces to 40 and the car will automatically slow us down to 40 now. And that system, because it reads the road signs, is a lot quicker to respond than other systems I've had in other cars where it just picks up from GPS data. Sometimes you can be halfway through the 40 mile hour zone before the car realises it should be doing 40. sign coming up now uh, so we should see the maximum go to 50 and also the car will start to slowly accelerate now up to that 50 again I'm not touching anything the roads opened up here so it'll be interesting to see what the car thinks to do here yeah, I've got to say it's dealt with that really well there's a filter road lane to my right but it's not taking me into there at all it's just doing exactly as it should be doing Well, so far, um, since we've pulled out of the lay-by, I've not have had to disengage autopilot, I don't think, uh, at all, um, which is really good. Still a 50 here. Lorry likes to be right up my arse. Coming into a 60 now, so uh, be interesting to see. Theoretically, I think the speed will go up to 60 uh, rather than up to 55, which I'd manually set. Don't know. It'd be interesting that one. Yeah, 60. It's because I did go up to 60, if you remember, a little bit further back. It's okay. The car's accelerating up to 60 now. I think these bends are okay at 60 anyway. play the brakes though <laughs> that's for sure so I've just accelerated through that a little bit but when really you spotted that but the car sort of pulled in to, to, to pull off to the little side road I would say probably the car slightly over braked for that situation I would say but then better to over brake and not hit something I guess but if that does happen, of course, you can just apply the throttle and it sort of tells the car, look, you know, you're all right, keep going. Okay, car's just pulled out in front of us here now, so we'll see what, uh, what happens here. It should deal with it easily enough. tip for you that somebody again one of our one of my contributors uh, pointed out to me I didn't know this if for example now we're on 55 maximum because I've set it to that 
and we are allowed to do 60 here, there is a couple of ways of rather than me going through the scroll wheel of populating that. The one I knew about was that if you tap the 60 like that, it does then translate to 60 on that side. So I've just taken it down myself again. Somebody pointed out, actually, if you press down on the right-hand stalk and keep it down, it will then bring that maximum over. There you go. So that's a really great tip, actually, and that's not one I was aware of. OK, so the road opens up here. I'm hoping it will put me in the left lane, which it has. There's also a filter lane, so it's a little bit of a complicated layout there, but the car has handled that perfectly. Um, now, the road filters from 2 to 1 here. Let's see what the car does. Again, it's keeping an eye on that side there. Oh, perfect. Can't complain. That was handled um, just as I would have handled it. Yeah, so just to give you that tip again, um, if you have got your maximum speed set to less than the legal speed, um, you can either tap the legal speed and it will populate the maximum speed with that figure, or, as one of our, my contributors pointed out, press and hold the right-hand stalk down just for a second and it will bring the legal speed into the maximum speed for cruise control for you. So a useful tip. Thank you very much for whoever put that in the uh, comments section. OK, we're coming to the end of this, uh, this little stretch of road now as we come into the roundabouts uh, at Abergavenny. Um, so I'm gonna, pretty much going to wrap it up there. I've got to say um, we've done what probably nine, ten miles, I would have thought, something like that, maybe a tad less, um, and the car has behaved faultlessly on that trip back. Um, you know, there were some complicated road, road layouts which it handled really well, so um, can't complain at all. I'm going to take it off autopilot now um, and leave it there. So thank you very much indeed for watching. Please do subscribe and like the video if you haven't already done so. And as always, I'll catch you next time.